hope you all are doing great. And uh, we are back with uh, this new video course. And uh, this one is uh, rather exciting uh, because here we're going to talk about algorithms and programming interviews. So what we're going to be doing is basically we're going to be learning algorithms and data structures using some practical examples, and we're going to solve lots and lots of problems, uh, real interview questions, technical interview questions that have been asked in past by big companies like Google, Apple, Amazon, and um, Airbnb, Netflix, and all these. And we're going to see, like, you know, how we can solve these with ease. So the name of the course is ACE Algorithm and Programming Interviews, where you're going to learn to crack coding interviews with ACE and presented to you by Deficit Interactive. All right, so hope you are ready to get started. And yes, I am. All right, so before we start, uh, let's take an inspiration from uh, the founder of Linux operating system. Once during the interview, he was asked, what do you think about algorithms and data structures? And this was his quote, literally word to word, that bad programmers worry about the code and good programmers worry about the data structures and their relationships. So you can see how important it is to basically understand the data structures, the way you store your data into the memory and how you retrieve it. Well, in this course, we're gonna talk about all of those, why it is important and how it is important and what difference does it make when you actually use data structures efficiently. So this course is built with two purposes in mind. One, to understand how data structure works in theory, and we're gonna solve, solve real interview questions to basically understand the concept. We're gonna prepare not only the interviewer, not only the interviewee, but the interviewer as well, because if you have taken any interview, you know when you're asking for uh, uh, questions like, you know, uh, data structure related questions, like um, uh, find an element in the sorted array and stuff like that, you are expected to know the solution as an interviewer for that. So you can help the interviewee out. The expectation is not that interviewee already knows all these things, but you are there to collaborate during the interview uh, and work with the candidate because it gives you the real knowledge of how you two are going to be working together if this were this this candidate was the uh, person who you can hire so that is why um, most of the interviews are uh, basically one-on-one -on -one and they happen in the room where people ask questions and they actually collaborate so most of the tech in tech companies um they actually, this is how they work. Uh, and this is how internally they explain their interviewers that when you're going for an interview, you're not there to grill the candidate, but you're going you're gonna to be there to test their knowledge on how much they know, along with you're going to see how they work together. And problem solving skill is one of the important ones. And that's where the understanding of data structures and algorithms comes into place. All right, with that said, who this course is for? Well, this course is for beginners who are starting to explore the job market and prepare for technical interviews. So anyone who's fresh grad or they have recently switched their industry from non-tech into the tech environment. And if you have actually had time to explore, you would see that a lot of these things are asked very frequently. Like, you know, now people are gonna ask you core data structure problems. And most of the big companies, big tech companies, they actually tend to focus on this more rather than your existing skills, because they know that existing skills, like, you know, the, the skills that you have acquired uh, by experience can be taught. But if you are clear about uh, if you're not clear about the data structures and algorithms, it's rather hard because this is this has been one of the most difficult topic in tech uh, to basically cover. So that's why they actually look for uh, candidates who have the understanding of basics for the data structure, and then they can shape the rest by training them or by making them uh, work on something that 
that way they can actually learn and grow into their own uh, job profile. All right. This course is for professionals as well who are looking to change job or just starting to look uh, basically to learn and apply algorithmic techniques to solve their next problem. And this is coming from a real life example where once I was faced within, uh, with a choice where I was given two different arrays and I needed to search the second array based on the elements uh, that are common from the first array okay so i have like you know one array that had like you know about thousand elements and another array that had like about million so i had to search million records to find the match for those thousands now if you would know uh, an efficient algorithm or you have basic understanding of data structure then you would know how you can organize these these two arrays to basically search them efficiently okay so that's the kind of understanding uh, that that we are looking for so so learning algorithm is not only for job change but it actually uh, can be applied during your regular day-to-day -day job as well all right and last but not the least is for anyone and everyone who wants to brush up their data structures and algorithm concepts with some practical examples now what do i need to get to get started that's a real great question okay so one thing to make it clear that although this course covers the theory and the examples in swift language these examples are easy enough to port into any language of your choice. So you're not bounded to the language by any means. With that said, you need basic programming language uh, knowledge, familiarity of at least one programming language. So if you know any programming language, any compilable, like, you know, Java, C Sharp, Swift, great, um, then you are good to go. But by no means you are actually bound to the programming language itself. You can actually port these examples anywhere. We're gonna try to focus on uh, least uh, basically on the Swift concepts because I wanna make this like uh, really, really generic because when you're gonna go in front of the interview panel to interview, uh, they're gonna uh, basically ask you not to use any language constructs, any anything that language already provides. So we're gonna try to use uh, and stay native uh, functionality, like you know core concepts, so we can actually work through that core functionality to achieve a result or achieve a solution rather than using the pre-built or inbuilt solution with the language itself. But for two reasons, it doesn't help you because like, you know, you're trying to learn here the like how the concept actually works. So if it's already pre-baked for you, you're not gonna really understand how that's actually gonna, uh, how that's actually working and you're not gonna care about it, okay? But if you build it, then you're gonna understand the uh, intricacies of what's going on in there. And you have the, the power of the knowledge to basically change it according to your need to uh, that the solution that you can build that is unique to your problem. So that's why understanding is needed. Now there's some base, basic mathematics that we're gonna see. It's really simple mathematics, like some divisions, some, uh, some fractions and stuff like that. Uh, nothing more than that, okay? Prior understanding of loops and conditionals is important. So you need to know like you know, how for loops work, how if and else and everything, how while loops and everything works. Because a lot of these interview questions you're gonna see later on, uh, they actually uh, tend to focus on loops and conditionals. So they are like, you know, solutions can be achieved by manipulating loops and conditionals some way or combining them together. So that's why understanding of loops and conditionals is important. All right. So what will I learn in this course? So you'll once again, learn the basics of data structures and uh, how they are used. You learn the te techniques uh, by solving coding questions. So 
once again, these are real coding questions uh, that you're going to be solving, real interview questions that you're going to be solving. And you're going to solve a lot of them uh, just to form the concept that you have learned. And each section is divided into, like, you know, um, basically area, the data structure that we have covered. So we're going to talk about the data structure first, and then we're going to talk about problems. We're going to focus more on problems because the more practical examples you get, the more prepared you're going to be for your interview and not next job hunting. Okay. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about why algorithms and data structures. Okay. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.